right, welcome Glad back to everyone. Much. Welcome to another Empire Motor Club vlog. Today, we're gonna be doing McLaren versus Ferrari. We're gonna be driving around both our cars. We're gonna be talking about part of our lives and how we feel about them as a daily driver. These are supercars and they are supposed to be super hard. Uh, give super me hard to get your seatbelt on. Give me another three minutes to put on these seatbelts. <laughs> Crikey. Oh, oh my god. Not that bad. Oh my god. Done. That was uh two minutes. But it's sick though. I like it. I like yeah, it. no, I mean it's uh it's different than the Ferrari. Yeah, it is. It's a lot different. Yeah. Ryan and I, we drive our cars daily. Yeah. All right, this is not our weekender. This is not our track baby. I mean, you know, I really like these, but but why, I, I'm wondering, wondering why they didn't use like the you know the four point, but then with the one buckle. Yeah, so they had that on the Ferrari, right? Yeah, I maybe think. I shouldn't have told you to not to to uninstall the the stock ones. Fair. I'm excited today because we finally get to talk about our cars. Yeah, like a full on comparison. You know, I'm excited. So it is a little bit rainy today, and I think that's perfect because we're trying to do like a daily. Cause you know Taiwan rains all the time. Do you have a wet mode in this car? Well, it's just normal mode. Oh, uh, so you, you don't have like a specific wet mode? No, it just says normal. Okay, so the Ferraris have a, wet, have a wet, mode. wet mode. So wet mode is like, uh, you know, they soften up the dampers a little bit. Yep, uh, so you know, good. they lower the torque a little bit. You know, they decrease the response a little bit so you're not like slipping and sliding everywhere. They enhance the uh, traction control a little bit. Same, same thing with this car. And then I have, you know, sport mode. Oh. And then I have a uh, track mode, similar to your Manatino settings. Yeah. I like the big iris infotainment system. Quite a big screen, everything is touch screen, so if I just want to go into media, I can go into Bluetooth, um, and I control the AC, everything here. And I really like how... Um, it's got a helmet. It's the Stig. It's the Stig. It's the Stig. It's got a helmet. It's the Stig, right? The Stig. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm still learning about this car, but I love it so much, to be honest. It's being a daily car, it is not as comfortable, I have to admit that, but well, when I, I mean, take it for spirited driving, it's my favorite car. Maybe we'll drive around Taipei and then go to like a parking garage. Every time I get into a parking lot, I am stuck. I can't get it, so I always have to take this off. Yeah. That's how I get it. Can I find you Thank you. <laughs> you guys are watching this. Hey, Susan, poison, you get by one kind of shot, that's it, man. <laughs> oh, yoga? Oh. Oh, okay, so that's on the left side. <laughs> hey, before we get to the offense, get to your car, why don't we do a little uh, wristwatch check because we haven't done a wristwatch check in a while. So, what well, do you I wear? I, I see that you got the fancy pantsy uh, Daytona on. I do, it is a fancy pantsy one. It's it is the porcelain. The... It's not white dial, it's porcelain dial. Yeah, it's the R Serial first series of Zenith Daytona 1988. What do you have on? I know you got some pretty modern, pretty dope. I, uh, you, you know, this is a uh, Ferrari times a blow. Pretty cool, it's got like a carbon frame. It's got like matching like Rosso Corsa red. The coolest thing about this is that like there's the, the second and like the date looks exactly like my RPM and like uh, gear Ooh, shift. really? Yeah. I know this bad boy is pretty sick. And it's, it's really lightweight. Yeah, it's carbon, right? It's got a carbon. Light. Yeah. Oh, this is really dope. Yeah, uh, and then it's got like that kind well, of like skeleton. Yeah, I, I like how it's open worked. It fits your car perfectly with the red and black theme. It's got a Ferrari logo on it. Yeah, because well, yeah, you know uh, Hublo sponsors Ferrari. So Ford's a Ferrari, man. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Nice watch. Let's test out how long my front lift is because the front lift is really big in the city. Uh, let's count. Okay, what are, we, what are we counting? Like how long it takes? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About eight, nine eight, seconds. Nine seconds. That's, That's actually not bad. Not bad. I think it's about the same in my car. Oh, well, why don't we just get into your car? Yeah, let's go. Driving, oh, yeah? Before we start driving around. Yeah. Hey, 
right, Jinks. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So we're back, we're the 48 now. Yeah. And I'm gonna put on a normal seatbelt. I mean, this big, it, it's, see, look guys, you guys see how easy this is? <laughs> but the truth <laughs> is that when we went on the track and like uh, into the twisties, uh, I was slipping and sliding everywhere, man. As soon as I sit into this car, I already feel a big difference between the McLaren and the Ferrari. This feels more supple. Yeah. It feels a little more luxurious, more comfortable. Obviously, we have different options, but I'm sitting in this car, even the seatbelt, easy peasy. I'm getting in and out. I think that's the biggest difference. Yeah. Because I of that mean, carbon tub, just, man. You can kind of emerge, right? That yeah. car, you kind of got to like, <laughs> you gotta, yeah. you know, you gotta navigate yeah, through yeah. that thing. There, there's a certain way how I get in and out. So yeah, let's let's go for a drive. Yeah. And the number one thing that a lot of people bag on about the 48, including Chris Harris, is that uh, is that the interior looks exactly the same. It I looks the same. But I got, but I, got, but I yeah. gotta tell you, it's a little bit better. Like yeah. the, the buttons are a little bit better. No, it mean? does. I've noticed that everything is facing the exactly, driver. Exactly. It's very drive oriented. It's definitely different than McLaren and. I like this option yeah, because, I, because I can see the RPM and how fast you're going. You know, like when we go to the track and right. a coach, you can see exactly what they're doing. You know, yeah. this driver display. You know, no, I don't think any other cars have it except for the Ferrari. Nope. This is already cool. Uh, my wife doesn't give me shit because that's the number one thing on Ferrari chat. People always complain about like, oh, why would I get that option? So my wife would tell me to slow down. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but like, I, my wife doesn't give me that problem. All right, so I prefer to have like a big screen in the middle because then I can see like, let's say like Bluetooth or someone's calling and whatnot. Mm. Um, I like the touchscreen stuff, but this is more traditional, just the knobs. Yeah, just knobs. I know, mean, it doesn't have so. any touchscreen, but I gotta say they did improve media system. Um, yeah. it, it, it works a lot better than the 458. The Bluetooth works a lot better. Okay. I can actually collect my phone. I can listen to music on my phone. Right. The steering wheel is, this is purest, racing shit from like F1. You know yeah, so since we're on the topic of steering wheels, that is a huge difference between McLaren and Ferrari. Yeah. So I really miss having all the buttons on this on the Ferrari steering wheel because everything is like a fingertip away. Exactly. McLaren is so modern, yet with the steering is so traditional. While the Ferrari is very traditional, beautifully designed, but it's very, very dope to have everything kind of like an F1 car yeah. on the steering wheel. Well, I think everybody knows that Ferrari designs their cars based on their F1 cars, you know? Like you said, uh, the gear shifters are, are stationary. They don't move yeah, along the with the column. steering wheel. I, I like that. Yeah, I do Because too. if you're turning... You don't have to look for it. You know it's on the left and the right. Exactly. Upshift. Upshift. But everything is on the steering wheel, man. The engine start, stop button, the Manatino, and even my suspension settings. Uh, windshield wipers. And like I said, behind the wheel, there's actually these two buttons and you can control your uh, in infotainment center with this. Yeah, yeah. You know? no, everything is at your fingertips. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Let's test this uh, lift thing. Yeah, mine was like eight, nine eight, seconds. Nine seconds. All right, let's, uh, all right, we're gonna go, let's ready? Yeah. So okay. let's see how fast it is. Are you ready? All right, yep. go. Wait, wait, wait. All right, lift one. It was like about five seconds. Yeah. It took about five seconds. Whoa, that's really fast. I didn't even get to five. Yeah. That is like three, four seconds faster than my car. All right, so you went on that one again. You know, the Ferrari has been producing this this model fucking road car. Yeah, so for many, many years. On my GTR, I have the KW. Uh-huh. And that's a button as well. Uh-huh. And I think buttons are just... Whoa! Okay, <laughs> boost! <laughs> that boost, Dad. Yeah. Well, that's almost 700 horsepower for you. Yeah. <laughs> now that you have the exhaust on, it sounds so much better. It does. It, it makes your, so quiet. It makes your drive around the city so much doper, doesn't it? It does. Right? Like it you, does. You smile and people turn heads. It does. Not just to look at your car, they're just like, oh, wow, they hear it. so good. They, they hear it. Good. Yeah. Because yeah. like, that, that was the one thing that people hated about the 488, right? It was that... Yeah, because stock, it just didn't sound that great. It didn't. You know? It didn't. It needed an exhaust. It, it definitely needed an exhaust. Yeah. And you know, Klein, baby. Klein yeah. is... Uh, those, those carbon tips match really well with your carbon diffusers. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to take you to where I usually park in the city. Uh, that's where my office space is at. And then we'll show you the, uh, all these videos you see on YouTube of uh, uh, on Instagram of people driving under the bar. It's, it's true, these cars are that low. And uh, the ground clearance, I mean, we're talking about milliliter, which is like that. So that's how, you know, how close we are. Well, let's go for a little drive and uh, let's go for a little highway run. Okay.
like the weather cleared up. All right, let's film this. All right, so Ryan's getting pulled over. Nah, 因為他的出來那個東西 对啊，合理了。你那零件都定了，对不对？对啊，零件都定了，而且疫疫疫情它不来我也没办法，寄不过来啊。像你你也知道邮件这种事情，你呢？对啊，对啊。Hey, bad boys for life. <笑><笑> uh, we're gonna go for a little highway run, and uh, we're gonna see whose car is faster. Okay, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh no, he's still faster by a little bit. Oh yeah. Damn, he's so fast. <laughs> you wanna do one more here? Alright, let's do this. <laughs> oh my god! Hope you guys enjoyed that. We fucking enjoyed it. Dude, that, was that was a little bit fun, fun ma'am. That, that was a little bit fun. Bro. That was yeah. fun. You guys saw the Ferrari's faster, hands down. No contest. Just more powerful, man. I couldn't beat you. Second gear, third gear, it was just up to an undisclosed number. Yeah. Uh, we didn't we weren't going that fast. But, but yeah, I mean I think it just has more torque and more power, you know? Yeah. It's a beast, man. You know, if I had one improvement for this car, it would be the racing seats. That okay. was that would be the one thing that I would want on this car. Because okay. when we went to the twisties, you know, I was sliding everywhere. So that's the only thing, yeah. right? I feel like his car is definitely the more comfortable daily car. Yeah. Um it's a little bit more luxurious. And it's way more powerful. Yeah. It's got 100 horsepower on me. So if you're driving around town, if you're going on the highway, if you're going down you know, central or southern Taiwan, there's nothing that really beats this as the daily supercar. Yeah. You know, but looks wise, I mean, everyone's got a different opinion. I think that this is more of like a classic traditional design, but this one is more modern. And if I had to choose, I would choose this exterior because the doors go up and it just looks more modern. But I think overall, if I were to choose a daily that I'm comfortable with, I would choose your car. Yeah. That's my choice. That's me. Same, same, same as me. Right? Every day, definitely this. If I could get seats upgraded, that would be perfect. Yeah. But, yeah. That, but, would, that would probably that, be that would, that would be perfect. But other than that, I think this car definitely for tracks, 
And you know, when the doors go up, it's just extra points. Yep. You know, so I mean, like I said, you know, I think this car has a little bit too much power, you know, Toby or Renshong. So I think uh, that one is a little bit more balanced and uh, more track focused. And yeah, I think, but they're both great cars though, man. Yeah, they're both, they're great, both great, cars. great cars. I really enjoyed this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and our perspectives. Let us know what you want to see next. We'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace. Peace.